Good morning, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. God bless all of you going through this today. Hope you have a great day today. Uh, Puerto Rico, they actually have over 200,000 uh, power outages from all the heavy rain and, and winds that, wind gusts that they were getting. They were getting wind gusts up to 60 uh, yesterday from the from the cell. It, it pretty much formed towards the end of Puerto Rico straight over the land. It's, it, was, it was crazy. Uh, so God bless you, John. I hope you have power over there. I don't know. I haven't heard from you in a minute, but it is possible you don't. Uh, the red area is, is tropical storm warnings. The yellow is tropical storm uh, watches. And I do show that the power intensity level did go down some. I uh, was going to make a video a little bit earlier. And if you see, it does rip right over the beginning of Cuba. Uh, then let's go. and goes over Key West. Now, that's lower what we're looking at. And we also have Marco uh, right here that's going straight uh, towards Florida. And then it turns a little bit uh, towards Louisiana and hits straight for Mississippi. And it looks like the maximum uh, damage will be tropical storm. It will be in the 50s. And then as uh, as Laura comes by the Key West and comes into it, uh, it did go down. Like, like I said, it did say a 2 here this morning, uh, saying Cat 2 wins. Uh, the Weather Channel confirmed and NOAA confirmed that they're expecting 100 miles an hour winds. Uh, but I am seeing still some more green, but it's not as it was uh, the day before yesterday. I've seen 107, 108 right there, and that's right below Lafayette. So that's still powerful as last night. Uh, but as it gets towards land, instead of 107 towards land, it had, uh, let's see, barely over 100. So if that's worth anything, I mean, it's, it's it did weaken towards landfall, even though there's still terrible winds uh, happening with this with this system. So what I'm going to do is show you the storm system that we do have. I will be live streaming it uh, on Weather Channel Live first, just so you can have a video from actual meteorologists telling you what's going on. And during commercials, I will be uh, showing you everything uh, that we can find us on every model. And then we'll check that every hour, keep that updated. Uh, yeah, 108.3. And that's what I'm finding so far on that. Now, let me show you what the severe weather is for the next 48 hours. That way we can get an idea of what you're, you're going to be looking at. You do see both storms. You see that goes right in for Mississippi. And this one comes late and then turns north. There's a northern pull right towards western Louisiana. Rips straight up the middle. So we'll see how this turns out because as soon as this, as soon as this comes from uh, Cuba and gets off the islands, we'll have a more uh, directional and impact update so we can see what we're messing with here because it, that, it's going to wobble now. It's going to wobble until it gets off those mountains and it does what it's going to do, which is going to be heavy rainfall for them as well and maybe even mudslides. It all depends. I mean, those are the islands. So God bless all of you that's going through that over there. I hope you will be okay. I really mean that. Now let me rewind it so you can see. Now the first one you see coming in, this one is Marco. I'm going to play it slower. And then the second one you see coming in is, is of course, Laura. And that's as far as we can see of it. And this is this band right here is going to expand all the way out when it comes. Believe that. All right. Jeremiah 11. The word that occurred to Jeremiah from Jehovah saying, Hear the words of this covenant, you men, and you must speak them to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And you must say to them, this is what Jehovah, the God of Israel, has said. Cursed is the man that does not listen to the words of this covenant, which I commanded your forefathers in the day of my bringing them out of the land of Egypt, out of the furnace of iron, saying, Obey my voice. You must do things according to all that I command you, and you will certainly become my people, and I myself shall become your God. For the purpose of carrying out the oath, that I swore to your forefathers to give them the land flowing with milk and honey as in this day. 
And I proceeded to answer and said, Amen, O Jehovah. Amen. God bless you guys. I hope I hope everybody will come out over this. Uh, but like I said, I will be doing this first on Weather Channel Live. Uh, if there's any issues or anything changes from there, I will be doing nonstop live streaming on this channel of just me. Uh, which is a way I really like it, but they do get the video uh, on the ground when there's problems so you can see what's going on. Look how these always are ripping up Georgia. It's, it's stretching all the way out. Let's see how far high we can go. I know some people are wondering how far up are they going to be getting effects from these storms. Uh, what the real effect is going to be when Laura comes in. Because she's going to blow all the way out. But we'll see. So God bless you all today. I hope you all have a great day. It is Sunday. So amen to you. I hope you have a, a good day. Especially if, you, if you're going out there and going to church. Or if your church is just at home. And you're praying to God. Just you and yourself. There you go. Just remember. Groups of three. He will always show up and be there. It is written. And he don't lie. So God bless you today. Amen, man. Y'all have a great day.